YouTubers Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Hey, if you're checking out this video, that's exciting because chances are you're getting the boat ready for the summer or the season. It's time to work on some boats. Today we're working on a 1993 Aqua Patio pontoon boat. On the back, it's powered by a 25 horsepower Mercury engine outboard. Today, a fun video, we are going to replace the shift cable. We're going to run you through the step by step. And if you've got the same throttle mount, there's a mounting screw here, you will be able to shift this cap off. And basically inside here, just to a peek at what it actually does, when you shift it, this little spring-loaded ball will go in and then go into the next detent. So for example, it's in, now it pops into the forward detent, back to the neutral, and back to the reverse detent. The problem is it's not actually putting the linkage into gear in the reverse stage. So we are going to replace this whole cable. Step one, safety first, always disconnect the negative terminal to your battery anytime you are working on the boat near water. 25 horsepower Mercury, this is the outboard engine we are going to be working on today. I'm going to pop off the top, little clip here, and this whole top case or cowling will come off, set that aside. Cap is now off. We chose to do this at the sandbar, enjoy the water in the day, as opposed to sweating in the driveway while it's on the trailer. Cap is off. You've got a securing plate. Grab a 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove that, and you're going to be able to remove this whole plate that locks these cables in. Shifting cable is on the bottom. It does look like the shifting and throttle cables are very similar. Not the same, but we are replacing the lower shift cable. Bolt and screw are now removed. That's what it looks like there. And you're going to be able to slowly and carefully remove this whole plate. We'll set that aside from here. Basically, it's just covered by a little rubber tab here. And we are going to remove this plastic piece. Be careful. It's plastic. You don't want to break it. It is here for a reason. We'll just kind of disconnect that and it will shift down in here. That part is now off and down below. Before you move anything with this shifting cable, Make sure that up in the boat, the shifting lever is in the neutral position. Now up at the throttle quadrant, again verify that you are in the neutral position and it is in and locked. Next, this acts as a securing cotter pin basically. As you can see here, it clamps. And we want to remove this by shifting it that way. And it is going to pop off this portion. I went ahead and used pliers, just grabbed that little tab and shifted it forward and again, now, this whole portion can pop off. From here, just kind of follow the bottom portion up, and as you can see here, the little adjustable portion, you can pull this out of that, and you'll be able to free up this bottom shift cable completely from the actual housing. Just like that. Now I've got the actual shift cable out of the housing there. Just to speed things up, I've already removed the Phillips screws. There's one here, 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 and here. And then there is a feed bolt that goes through here that puts this metal plate on. You'll go ahead and remove all those. At that point, you'll be able to pull this hole out, up, and out. That's going to give you access to feed the new cable through. This part can be kind of tricky if you've got very small areas that the shift cable travels through and makes its way up to the actual throttle. Some people will actually take the old one, tie the new one, or tape the new one to it, and then pull it through up at the actual throttle. Ours is pretty simple. It just goes through this little hole and then over the pontoon and feeds along the side. Here's a quick view of the new cable. Make sure you get the proper part number for your year making model. You're going to have to grab a 3-8 socket, remove this bolt, Got that off and it is now released. And down here, two Phillips screws going to release that. That's going to release the pressure and allow you to actually pull this cable. That's what it looks like now with that plate off, and you'll be able to pop it right out and pull. And shift it all the way far in reverse, and you are going to get access to that actual bolt that's going to remove the bottom, which is the shift cable. New cable has been fed through, as you can see here, it's in its secure location, and the 3 8 bolt is secure and I'm going to put the throttle cable back in and secure that on its bracket. Cables are secure, let's go ahead and reinstall the plate. 
Now this part I didn't show earlier. This little plastic clip goes on here. And then you have a plate that has grease on it. That's what it will look like going back into the actual housing. From here it's just reversing the steps, putting all the bolts back together, securing these, the outer plate, and then the four outer. And this little plastic piece, make sure it goes into that little plastic groove. Back down at the engine, we are going to position it back and put the tip hole, as you can see here. We're gonna position that on that little tab there. And then this little adjustable barrel, we will also insert that after we adjust it. Cutter pin, an easy way to put it back on as opposed to pushing it is just slowly without harming the actual thread put it on that portion and feed it down and insert this part and clip it into place cutter pin mount is back on and secure and again this is where you actually adjust the shift cable right now we've got the shift cable and throttle cable back into position and we are going to wrap it with the rubber mount here put the secure mounting plate back on now grab that plastic tab that we took off earlier. Again, be very careful. It is plastic. The hinge below is plastic and you are going to shift this back into place. This is a very important part because remember earlier we pulled it off to gain access to the actual cables pulling them out of the housing. And when you put this tab back on, it doesn't allow the adjustments to change as the engine runs or come out of the housing. Again, everything's back to normal, secure and before it was grinding when we put it into reverse so now that was a smooth transition from neutral to reverse and as you can see here we are moving in reverse back to neutral no grinding this is great like the video subscribe to the channel hope this helps as a subscriber you'll be able to stay in tune with us every video we upload and that'll be awesome. Thanks again.